Good shaking, Warfighter Nation. Ron here with Warfighter Ranch and Isaiah 6 8, Military Outreach Ministry. Wanted to reach out to you today with a, a little something a little different, uh, a little post war poetry, if you will. As many of you know, I am a veteran of Ramadi, the first battle of Ramadi, the first battle of Fallujah in the Arab Spring of 2004. And we're still losing brothers and sisters who served in Ramadi with us. This is the first in a series of shorts where they don't really fit in any of the other categories, like Faith in a Foxhole or So There I Was. So we're going to dedicate this series of shorts specifically to veterans of Ramadi and Fallujah. God bless. This is called No Greater Love. On the march back to Babylon, freedom's youth off to war. Destination unknown, yet singing while speeding towards hostile shores. They hail from the four corners, America's sons and daughters, everyone born free, to wind up there in the heart of the province, our Ramadi. I met some magnificent bastards, and some who said make peace or die. There's paratroopers all over Al Ambar. Don't say we didn't warn you. Can't say we didn't try. Some say it was hell. But this was no Hades. The picturesque ancient banks of the great river Euphrates. Do they even know the history of this ground where we now stand? It was once in this valley where God first created man, giving rise to the sun comes a morning call to pray. Another extinguished generation is just a trigger squeeze away. Some came for battle. On a feast of combat they gorged. The insatiable thirst of the battle hardened. Souls seared together in the heart of the devil's forge. Refined through facing death. Through blood and barbed wire. Impurities burn away. Rest easy, warfighter. Our Lord's love of your servant's heart will never tire. No time to think, no tears to be cried. In the blink of an eye, the year of life has gone by. Next mission time now. This simply cannot fail. Clear the net, break. Another warrior has pierced the veil. The fabric of time is stressed, dotted with blood-stained laces. I still don't have the heart to untie. I think perhaps that I will never forget their faces. A life erased, no reason why. I've been blessed to walk with heroes, a truly bittersweet pleasure, to bear witness to Christ's example, offering freely their last full measure. Many fell at Ramadi, but lived past the day only to fall years later by their own hand, they say. I know the pain. A piece of me died on the field alongside you that day. But dear brother and sister, hear the words that I say. My devotions to God are prayers for you now and every day. To the last man, to the last round, every warrior did fight. A righteous battle raged, then and now, as did we, against the dying of the light. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Joe Hayes, fellow Ramadi bro, over there at the Day of Battle podcast on YouTube. Give him a uh, give him a subscription, folks. He's got some really great stuff to put out. But as the spiritual war rages on, and eventually manifests itself in huge part through the veteran suicide epidemic, I wanted to offer this poem 
to my Ramadi bros.